Hello, I'm Chris Principe from Financial IT, and I'm pleased to say I'm here today with my good friend Kurt Cavanaugh of GT Nexus, one of the real innovators from early on in the supply chain finance field. Hi, Kurt, how are you today? Hey, Chris, how are you doing? I'm really happy to be here, thanks. Good. I have a couple of questions for you today. First, uh, can you give us a little bit of the view of the, the road and the path that you've pioneered in uh, being one of the innovators and in what I would say one of the first wave in uh, supply chain finance and, and the supply chain in general? Well, I, I hate to admit it, but I've been in the fintech business for over 30 years and worked actually in the Banco Central in Peru in 1983. So that kind of gives you the start of the whole thing. But from there, it's gone a long ways. Uh, 1999, I started a company called Tradecard, which was the first company focused on the financial supply chain. We grew that company and then three years ago, merged it with GT Nexus to create the first company that had both the physical and the financial supply chain in one, in one software application. Well, you know, that's a, a really interesting uh, for me because, of course, I've, I've followed you and followed Trade Card and the, the merging with GTX Next Nexus just seemed like a very logical next step. And the convergence of the physical and financial supply chain, it's, it's kind of been the holy grail out there. Can you tell us a little bit about GTX Nexus uh, and the products today? Well, we have a platform that goes from the very beginning when you start collaborating with your vendors all the way through to shipment of the goods. And if you think about global trade, it's really simple. People only care about two things. Where's my stuff and where's my money? And you know, that's the whole conundrum of global trade. It goes all the way back to the Medici's and when they were they pioneered the letter of credit, you know, hundreds of years ago. And so what we focused on at GT Nexus is being able to answer those two questions electronically. So no matter where the goods are, in the water, in the air, in the factory, in your warehouse, and no matter where the money is, depending on you know, who has the, have the ownership transferred and what's going on, plus finance and lending and all that kind of stuff, bringing that all together so that you can automate the whole supply chain, that's what we're all about at GT Nexus. Well, great. I mean, that's music to my ears, being an old trade guy and, and supply chain finance uh, for, for many years. You know, so what brings it really interesting is that now you've combined this, what are those things that we can look forward to to see from your imaginative and innovative mind that GTX Nexus is going to bring to the market in the future? Well, the, you know, we think there's a bunch of things that are happening right now that are going to fundamentally change the way global trade works. One of them is the Internet of Things. They're talking about billions and billions of things connected together. So instead of us saying where something is, having the thing that we're tracking tell us where it is. And that's a very different way of thinking about tracking things. And can you imagine a, wor a world where every item has a sensor on it that tells you where it is? And so this question of how do I get the right stuff to the right place will get hyper granular. We, granular. we will know exactly where every individual item is in the store. And if you think about retail, the problem they're trying to solve with omni-channel, you know, where do you ship from? The challenge is nobody knows where anything is, so it's hard to do that. But if you know where every individual item is, you'll be able to change that. And that's, that, I think that's one of the big fundamental changes. Another big fundamental change is what's going on with the whole 3D manufacturing, this additive manufacturing, digital printing and 3D printing. That's going to change the way we think about designs. There's actually companies that are building software that allow you to design your own clothes and knit them on a knitter that costs like a couple thousand dollars. And you imagine, so now you think about the supply chain, instead of designing something, making it on the other side of the world and importing it, maybe the way the world's gonna go is you design something and you don't sell the physical good, you sell the design and people can make it in their own home. And just those kinds of changes are gonna revolutionize supply chains. And so from a technology point of view and how do you think about that, how do you finance it, how do you bring together the, the lending and the financial parts of it with the physical parts of it, this is the most exciting time to be active in the supply chain. So we're having a great time with this stuff. Well, Kurt, I can feel the passion that you have for this business, especially over the years. And uh, my big takeaway from what you just said is that we're going to have uh, and we can look forward to a talking supply chain that will actually be shorter rather than the lengthy supply chains that we're looking at today. Kurt, thank you very much for spending some time with us at Financial IT. Best of success going forward. And we wish you the, the uh, best in your next, next endeavors. Well, thank you very much. And we're really excited about where we're going with this. And this is going to be exciting time. So buckle your seatbelts and, and let's go. Great.
Chris Prince to be financial aid tech.